Have you experienced a relationship trauma? This happens when one person is vulnerable, they reach out for their partner, but they feel abandoned afterwards. It's when our expectation of safety is broken. There are many different forms of this, but I'll use a heavy example as an illustration. Let's say a wife tells her husband that she's setting up an appointment with her doctor because she suspects she might have breast cancer. She's scared and she wants to be comforted, but the husband is probably feeling overwhelmed and this activates his defense system. So he says something to the effect of, don't worry about it, it'll be okay, let's just stay calm. And the conversation more or less ends there. This leads to disconnection because instead of feeling safe, the wife ends up feeling abandoned emotionally. The abandonment she feels is the relationship trauma. Now a conversation about that trauma could escalate quickly based on the intensity of emotions and the attachment wounds that each spouse has triggered in the other. For instance, the wife might say, you weren't there for me. If the husband has an avoidant attachment style, he might defend himself by saying something like, Yes, I was. I, I told you everything would be okay. This response is an unsafe reaction for the wife, so she might pursue harder in an attempt to get her husband to see and feel her pain. But when she does, this feels like criticism to the husband, so he might shut down entirely, and eventually he just says, I can't reason with you. What's the point of this discussion anyway? This is a common conflict that you might be able to relate to, and you might recall specific moments in your relationship that have triggered a conflict like this. It can be a difficult dynamic to navigate because each person was simply responding to their emotions and using the only defense mechanism they have available. Relationship traumas have a high intensity of emotion involved for both parties, which reduces the ability to empathize with one another. So it's really important to be aware of what you're feeling as you go into a conversation with your partner about a relationship trauma. If you can't get through the conversation without a fight, just stop because nothing nurturing happens once the conversation escalates to a fight. It might be best to process this with a therapist who can guide you through the conversation and help maintain safety for both partners.